Hello guys and welcome back to a cold and snowy morning here in Nova Scotia. Minus 12 degrees Celsius the day after the snowstorm. It was our biggest snowfall of the year. Uh, in here where I'm at, uh, close, you know, just outside of Halifax, we got probably 10 inches of snow. I know parts in the valley and parts, uh, you know, sort of closer to the Kedgy Park. They got like 15 to 20 centimeters of, I mean, inches of snow. So a foot and a half of snow. And it was, kind of was the snowstorm that came out of absolute nowhere. There wasn't much talk about it at all. And then uh, Wednesday evening, they said, yeah, we could, we could get 10 to, 10 to 20 centimeters of snow depending on where you're at, but along the coast, you're gonna get rain. Well, no rain happened, and a lot of snow came down. So, I gave up all of my properties and driveways, commercial properties and stuff, here where I'm currently living, because I'm just not gonna be around. Doesn't make sense for me to do that, but what I do need to do is have the homestead opened up. It is, quarter after 5 20 after 5 in the morning finally starting to get a little bit of heat inside this thing and that is one thing that I love about that 2020 with the rapid uh, supplemental heater whatever the heck they call it it heats up much quicker than what this does these trucks these diesel trucks unless you're driving them you could think they're not idle forever they don't get warm but uh, yeah I need to get over to the homestead and get the get the homestead cleared I've got people coming to work on the house today. It is Saturday, and also I have a couple buddies coming to help me move the remaining big stuff out of my house. Uh, the house closes on the 29th, which is at the end of this coming week. But we are moving into a uh, we're moving into a new spot on Monday. And I need to get the hose cleaned out, get all the stuff moved out so we can start getting ready for that to happen. So I need to plow the driveway because we're gonna be bringing trailers in. And also, over on the lake that I bought the homestead on, there's a, there's a, a road across the lake with a few cottages and a couple houses on it that I need to, uh, need to plow because I'm taking care of that. So, it is, uh, so as always, I'm in a bit of a rush to get stuff done because I need to get over there, get plowed, come back. I still do have two spots I need to plow for my uh, my bigger clients in uh, in around the Halifax area. And uh, then get to the host and get ready to load up trailers and meet my buddies by, you know, 9, 9.30 in the morning. So, uh, see how bad the roads are heading over there, but uh, we can hit a pretty good little speed here. This, these uh, these tires are holding up great, and this truck is just an absolute tank. So yeah, as always, let's go. Okay, so I am done the cottage road across the lake, and here we are at my place. And it's funny because my place is actually longer than what the cottage road was. And what's also funny is coming over here, I noticed a lot of people had their driveways already plowed and uh, this road's not plowed yet. So once the road gets plowed, the truck's gonna end up putting a bunch of snow right back in the driveways. And a lot of people, they, uh, you know, they, they winged their driveway back at the start like the mouth of their driveway but they <laughs> but they did it the wrong way they they didn't do it so like when the snow plow comes he's gonna be on this side of the road the passenger side of the road winging it in so you would want to push it back past your driveway well the majority of them had the stuff pushed on on this side of the driveway which is where the truck's going to be coming from so he's just going to pick up that snow that they that they pushed and piled up in a big pile he's just going to pick up pick that up and end up putting it right back in their driveway again um <laughs> anyway whatever it's not my driveway so i'm gonna 
like I'm doing right now is I'm I'm starting back away from my driveway to try to hope that uh, when he comes it helps because he won't have to be pushing as much snow in in my driveway here but yeah this is the most snow that we've had so far this year but it is absolutely beautiful stuff to work with right now but I can tell that I need to definitely trim some trees that's for sure as you guys can see here but and on that last place I was at it was the same thing so yeah sorry for the paint on this truck Uh, you know, there's no other way around it. All right, so I'm gonna wing one way back going in, and then I'll come back out and wing the other way in, but it's 650, basically we started it at 650, 652. So I'm gonna see how long this driveway takes me to do. And then when I get up here so far, I gotta stop and open the chain. But, yeah, this truck just, this truck has never cared how much snow is down. As long as it's got a good set of tires on it, there is nothing that is stopping this thing. Now, if there was a lot of snow, what I would do is I would have to put it, put it in full V and V it all back. Oh yeah, look at this. This is like hanging right on the ground, basically. I don't even have a chainsaw with me, but... Okay, I had to unlock this gate. All right, we are back at it. Ready to go here. I guess we put it in drive. Oh, the old girl gets abused. I try my best to take care of these things, but... Sometimes it just kind of is what it is. Man, here's this one's bad. Holy cow. Okay, we're gonna attempt a different line here. Getting heavier now. This hill's icy. Might have to drive up and plow my way out. Make things easier. some snow trucks full of snow now in front I can't even see it. My, my vision's basically gone yeah that sucks that I'm gonna have to uh, take care of a lot of those trees for sure I mean I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be putting my truck through this and driving uh, our vehicles through that over and over again, that's for sure. But I gotta clean some of this snow off the truck so I can see what's going on here again. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, man, why would you, why would you put your truck through that? Well, I bought this truck for these reasons. So if this was a, one of my clients that I was hired to plow a tower site for, 
I wouldn't call them and say, no, sorry. I couldn't plow the tower road so you could hook up a generator or whatever, for whatever reason, because it's gonna be a good reason. I couldn't do it because there's trees across the road and I don't want to scratch my truck. So I bought this truck knowing that this was the life it was going to live. And if this was just a residential driveway, obviously, you know, my own, I can cut it myself. But if this was a residential driveway and that's all I did, I would tell the people, listen, you got you to gotta cut those trees back or you find somebody else to plow your driveway but the life this truck lives this is uh this is what this is what it gets into this is the whole reason why it, it exists for me so yeah i would love to not to have to put the truck through that um but it is just it is just the way it is but anyway let's get this cleaned up up top here and then I'll work my way back down there again but it is icy underneath of this big time and this is really rough stuff right here the ground the ground froze it's been it's been a weird winter it was really soft and and just crappy to work with everything was a mess and then it uh and then it turned cold so right now it's nice because it's not muddy everywhere but from all the ruts that were created during that muddy season she's a little rough This is only the second time I've had to plow this, this driveway this year. But this will give me a good indication of how long it's going to take in the future during decent snowfalls. And then once I get this section of the driveway done, I've got to go down below and plow that uh, plow that road and that clearing that I created. Sensors are getting iced up. Like I said, this storm just kind of came out of nowhere and it's so busy with everything else going on that I wasn't really ready to get this place like ready for a big snowfall. I gotta turn that off, my God. Like, there is some stuff on the ground that shouldn't be on the ground. The guy who's helping out on the house, his dump trailer is, is full of stuff that he needs to take to the landfill, which is sitting right there. And now, <laughs> now he's got a foot of snow on top of it.
I just moved all this gravel here the other day. So now that's sitting there, frozen solid with a foot of snow on it. Did I ever tell you how how nice doing groundwork and stuff is in the wintertime? I got jobs lined up like crazy right now. People want work done and uh, we're gonna have to be put on hold after this. I was able to get that big three acre clearing job done just in time because I was talking to the guy and they actually got, that's actually where he told me they had like 20 inches of snow. So that would not have been good to try to get the excavator out of there. At least I have my dumb trailer tipped up in the air. That one anyway. So when I get back home, I've got my enclosed trailer that I'm going to be using. And I've got my new 16 foot trailer that I'm going to be using. And an update on that on that Silver Mountain, my 16 foot galvanized trailer. I'll have an update on that for you guys. You know I've been having problems with that, with that capacitor system. I'll give you an update on that. It's out of there, I'll tell you that much. It don't work in the winter time. Yes. He's actually gonna have a fun time getting that trailer out of there too. Now there's a foot of snow down. He only drives a ram, so it could be tough. There's the old eight ton sitting. Big chunk of ice. I'd say if I was gonna plow this driveway for somebody, the absolute lowest that I would go would probably be 80 bucks. Cause you gotta factor in, it's rough. It's gonna beat the crap out of my truck, out of my plow. It's long. And if you had a ton of snow, you'd have to do it several times during the storm because there's no way you're getting up that hill if you've got, you know, even heavy snow. This is fluffy. If you had this much snow but it was heavy, yeah. But it is very pretty. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens going down here now. Put my windows back up.
friggin' old birch. There's nothing worse than birch. Those are getting cut. Swing this sucker back. Get her away from the trailer here. Drive right out on the lake. Thought I was safe to open my window. Time to plow into the clearing. Another tree.
This here is kind of tricky because there's a wet spot on the road. And the plow is digging in. Pain in the butt this one is. Okay, let's see what we can do here. trying to actually raise my plow still digging in this section there is not gonna look pretty that's for sure oh my goodness come on baby all right and then up here there's some really bad ruts This is like a typical, a typical road that I plow with this truck during, you know, emergencies and stuff. So <laughs> when I say this truck hasn't had an easy life, it has not had an easy life. Let's get this cleaned up. When I said $80, I wouldn't do this for $80. You know, a typical driveway, 35, 40, 45 bucks for, you know, just an average small sort of easy driveway. So if you can bang, you know, three or four of those off in an hour, you know, you're doing okay. But if this takes you 45 minutes to an hour to do, well, you just lost four potential driveways. So it definitely would need to be worth your while to do this. Like to be honest, 120, 140 bucks, I would say to make it worth your while. If you don't get that, it's honestly not really worth it because you're losing out on more on other stuff you could be doing.
pretty much done this. I got one side wing back going out. I just feathered it as easy as I could. It actually uh, went pretty smooth. So we'll see how it goes this time. I know it's gonna dig in. It's gonna dig in a little bit. So I'm bringing the plow up slightly. Oh, if you tap it, if you tap it two times quick, it automatically just brings it all the way up. It's like automatic. I gotta deal with the water issue there. I gotta dig a little ditch alongside that where it comes down off the hill. But that's not at the top of my list right now of, of important things to do. Okay, so all I have left to do is to work my way that one section where those trees are really blocking the road. I gotta try to do something with that section. She's done. All right, let's see what happens here. should have plowed my way down. Alright, I'll plow my way out. I am gonna wing this back. One more pass coming in through here. Pretty though, I'll tell you that. I have to snap a photo of this. Okay, well that just about does it. I'm gonna lock my lock my chain back up. Head on out of here. Hey guys, as you can see, that was an absolute disaster. I definitely have some more trimming to do on my road. I thought I had it pretty good, but obviously nowhere near good enough. But uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, a lot more stuff coming. Finally starting to get settled. We're not at the new house yet, but we're at, um, a new host to us and uh yeah we'll get some more videos pumping out here pretty soon i'm, I'm uh getting back in the swing of things here coming up so stay tuned but until next time take care stay safe and we'll see you then bye